Hi folks, Ken Everett from Digital Matter. I'm really excited to be talking to you today about one of our latest products, the Manta Fusion, that builds on the exciting range of battery-powered tracking devices that we have already. The Manta. Uh, first up, I want to talk about the Manta form factor. So at Digital Matter, we tend to name our products after the form factor of the device. So within that, you then have multiple versions, depending on what um, features we build in onto the PCB. But the Manta form factor is a new form factor, and you can see here in the uh, the pictures with the device in hand. It's a very similar size to our new Barrow form factor, except with an additional AA battery. It builds on the lessons that we've learned from one of our best-selling products, the Oyster form factor. Um, it's a rugged RP68 housing with a 3 by AA battery holder. And one of the things we've done is we've built this battery holder into the actual housing itself. So the holder is made of this nylon glass material, the same material that the, the housing is made of. And that means it's much more rugged. So um, we, we wanted to make sure that this device can withstand very high temperatures and rugged environments. And the battery holder is uh, very tough as a result of it being made of this nylon glass material. Uh, we've moved the battery holder out from underneath the PCB in the Oyster form factor. We've moved it to alongside the PCB. Like we've done with the Barra form factor, if anyone's familiar with the Barra, uh, basically allows us to get the profile of the device down lower. Um, Clearly, the device needs to be slightly longer because the batteries have moved alongside the PCB. But one of the nice things about it is it allows us to use a magnet for activation and then ultimately tamper detection if you want to use it for that feature as well. Um, so for, for provisioning devices at production on mass, or even if you're provisioning them yourself, the magnet acts as like an on-off activation switch. So it's great. You can pre-provision devices, have them sitting on the shelf in like a dormant off state, um, and pull the magnet when you want to bring them to life uh, when it's time to deploy it. The other thing about it is the because of the longer ground plane that we can get out of the device, we have RF performance improvements as well. And uh, we've seen that in the performance of this product in our testing already. Uh, the other thing we can do, because we don't have the battery holder right on the underside of the PCB anymore, is we can uh, place components double-sided if we need to. So it allowed us to pack more functionality into the device, which is important. And you'll see in some of the... Um, upcoming slides around what we're doing on this device that's so exciting. So the fusion part of Manta Fusion comes from the fact that it uses numerous mechanisms to determine location. So uh, those familiar with our edge devices will know that we've, we're using scanning technology on those devices. Really what we've done in the Manta Fusion is bring together the best of a whole bunch of products of ours. So first up and foremost, it has a full GNSS on there, right? So it has multi-constellation, uh, full GNSS support using offline aiding data and things like that. It's got the Sony GNSS on there, the CXD5612. has exceptional battery life, fantastic performance. This is the same kind of GNSS that's used in things like um, fitness uh, bands and uh, smartwatches. So really designed for low power but very good operation. So secondly, we've got Wi-Fi location technology in there. So this is technology that can scan for Wi-Fi access points and it uses our location engine to resolve into a location on the cloud. Now, um, somebody asked me this again the other day, so I just need to point out that Wi-Fi location doesn't require the device to be on the Wi-Fi network, right? So this is similar to when you're using your, your smartphone and you're looking at a list of Wi-Fi networks that are in your area. That's pretty much what this device is doing, it's seeing what Wi-Fi is around me in, in the area, uh, it gets the signal strength from those, and we use that information on the server to actually give you a uh, a reasonably accurate location, particularly in urban areas, the performance is, is exceptional. And obviously that works indoors, right? So that's the, the main benefit of that technology. And then for scenarios where there's no um, GNSS available or Wi-Fi available, um, say for example, you've had an asset stolen and it's been stuck in the back of a container and it's driving down the freeway somewhere, um, we can fall back to using cell tower information to give you uh, a position. Typically, that position is less accurate, but more often than not, it's better to have some idea of where your device or your asset is, as opposed to none at all. And then lastly, in the device, we built in a Bluetooth uh, BLE gateway. So that gateway can be used for scanning things like asset tags, uh, sensors like temperature, humidity, and a whole range of other Bluetooth sensors around there. Um, and we are also going to be using it to do um, private lookups to determine location. That's something we'll be talking about a bit further. For those familiar with our Oyster range, this is like three Oyster versions combined into one device. So I'm super excited about where this product is going. One of the things we like to talk about is the power to do more. And that really goes to the, the design of the hardware itself, 
but also the, the smarts we put into firmware to actually allow us to get really, really long battery life out of these devices. So number one, the low energy and, and great performance of the devices are going to allow you to potentially go for much longer in terms of your battery life. But given, depending on the battery life requirements that you have from a, a time perspective, it may allow you to actually just do more more aggressive tracking within that period if you want. So in this uh, Mantifusion device, we've got uh, a great uh, low power cellular data modem running on CAD M1 and MBIT. Uh, we spent a lot of time fine tuning antennas and RF tuning all of the signals. Um, and MBIT in particular has great penetration into buildings and basements, uh, including my garage, which uh, I joke is the black hole of, of RF in the region that we live in. Uh, any device that can get signal out of my garage is doing really, really well. And uh, the Mantafusion does work from within my garage, so that's always good news. Uh, the Sony GNSS gives us fantastic performance, I've mentioned already. Um, and then we're using the uh, Semtec LR1110 for Wi-Fi scanning. So similar to the Wi-Fi scanning we're doing in our existing Edge devices already. So the Fusion Smarts is what I was talking about in terms of the, the awesome firmware that really unlocks the capabilities of the device. So you can imagine with a device like this combining and using all of these location technologies at once, the firmware needs to be pretty smart about what it's doing and when it's doing it. So between the firmware on the device and our device management platform, you can configure the device based on your use case. So uh, things like being able to say, hey, I'm tracking an asset that's largely indoors, but I want the Genesis. Uh, when it's outdoors, you can set it up to, to use Wi-Fi as the primary and Genesis as the secondary, or vice versa if you know the asset is going to be mainly outdoors. And that's just one of many parameters you can change to, to affect the performance of the device. Uh, the trip monitoring is interesting, and this is where we spend a bit of time getting it right. One of the examples and one of the reasons that we wanted to get this product to market is things like a, a trip can be tracked down the road using GNSS out of a, a vehicle or on the back of a truck quite nicely, but then that vehicle can go into a basement and park underground, right? And what happens with that end of trip is the last location that the GPS got was maybe 500 meters or a kilometer down the road, um, and you don't get the end of trip in the basement because now you're in indoors and the GNSS can't get a fix. So the, the Manta Fusion will basically use the technology in it to, to figure that out. So things like um, ending trip in a basement, it'll use Wi-Fi then to get the location within the basement to, to show you where the trip actually ended. So the smarts in the Mantifusion also use um, location technology very cleverly while managing the power level. So features like Genesis Early Abort and the smart Wi-Fi scanning that we've got built in all help extend the battery life of the product. So the trip management is like our normal devices, and this is a great example of, the, of what I've just spoken about in terms of ending the trip. Uh, my trip ends in the basement at work. The Genesis device, like you can see in the, in the top picture, has me when it last got a GPS fix, which is some way down the road. The Mantafusion now gets inside the basement, sees that it can't get GNSS signal, falls back to Wi-Fi, and gets a location within the basement, fairly close to where I'm actually parking. Um, I've mentioned this Wi-Fi beacon and private lookup. So one of the things we're doing and we're working on is a Wi-Fi beacon that will allow you to create infill in areas where you own the infrastructure. So for example, in a warehouse, in like a basement, or if you're in a hospital, for example, um, you can put down these private um, beacons to give you much greater resolution in terms of your indoor location accuracy. Um, but you know, I'll, we'll be talking a bit more about that over the coming months, as that's still work in progress. The, um, the Manti, Manti Fusion has a yearly gateway built into it. Um, again, our smarts in what we do around our Bluetooth scanning and tag management um, is where our product differentiates itself, right? So, so pretty much of the products on the market do a simple scan and dump. We have uh, filtering, we have mapping into analog values. So if, you, if you're reading a temperature sensor, for example, you can map it into an analog uh, value on the unit, which makes the integration much easier into whichever software platform you want to integrate it to. Our, our um, BLD scans can also be triggered on various settings, right? So interval-based, or they can be intelligently based on movement. And then our tag lists, are oh, intelligent as well, right? So we can actually upload and notify around, hang on, uh, a tag has gone missing out of the tag list on the device. So it tells us that that pallet was dropped off at a particular location. So the, um, the functions that we've built into the Bluetooth gateway make the device even more intelligent and more important in terms of not just um, scanning and dumping you with a whole lot of uh, data in terms of the tags. 
so the device features are great, but you really need to be able to tweak the device to, to get it to operate the way you need for your application and your use case. So Device Manager takes care of all of the software plumbing, I like to call it, to allow you to operate your device the way you need. And built in out of the box of all the things that you need, all the encryption authentication, so security is built in, management of devices at scale, things like firmware and parameter updates over the air, and very important are things like Genesis aiding data. So that this allows the device to get a, a first fix very quickly and at low power. Um, and it'll perform in areas where typically Genesis devices battle to perform. There's a whole bunch of other features that are built into Device Manager. It certainly makes life very easy getting your devices up, up and running and deployed at scale. So we now have limited MPI units of this with the first production run um, happening very soon. Uh, early October, we'll have units available for more uh, purchase and broader testing if you'd like. Um, right now, we are busy doing the RF matching, which is a very important um, step in um, optimizing and tuning the device. Um, so an example that I, I'll give is that my, my vehicle parking in the basement downstairs with uh, the defaults uh, wouldn't find enough Wi-Fi access points, but with the RF matching that we've done, we've now tuned that RF path on the Wi-Fi, so it's now picking up a whole bunch of Wi-Fi access points. Uh, it's just a simple example of why RF matching is just another thing that's really important to do on your device. Um, it's one of the things Digital Matter does to all of its products, and it makes our products perform way better than the competitors. So our initial production units are available end of the month, early October. Speak to your local DM office about getting a Manta Fusion and trying it out. Um, hopefully you'll be pleasantly surprised. So really looking a bit further down the road, some of the stuff we're working on is uh, Manta Fusion Cat1 BIS version. So this is the same great features that we've talked about now, just with a Cat1 BIS modem, which is really going to allow the device to get onto any uh, Cat1, so 4G network uh, globally, which is something uh, that's quite exciting. Um, the other thing that we're hoping to have more information on the next few months is the ability to fall back to satellite on that version. Um, so again, global roaming on, on 4G networks with satellite where there's no coverage. Um, certainly that's the vision that we want to achieve. The other thing we're working on, I've mentioned, is private uh, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth beacons for greater indoor location accuracy. Um, so we're building that into location engine, and we're actually building physical beacon devices that you can deploy in your infrastructure to give you better uh, infill when looking at indoor location. And then lastly, uh, we're working on what we call Energy Saver Protocol, or ESP. This is an update to our, our DM protocol and device manager to really push the, the boundary in terms of battery life. And we're getting some significant battery life improvements, anywhere from, from two to four times battery life. Um, so this is early days still, but uh, we'll have more information on this coming soon. What I'm excited about what that unlocks is the ability to have devices being able to switch into recovery mode or, or offer on-demand location almost. Um, so anyway, we'll have more information on that in the coming months. Thank you very much for listening. I um, hope you're excited about the Manta Fusion as I am to get this into the market and hopefully you'll get one soon and, and test it out. It's a great device. Uh, we look forward to hearing from you about it. Thank you.